Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over um, Montaigne's album, 10 albums called um, Complex. So this is a different type of direction I'm gonna try when it comes to reviews. I've noticed a lot of my, my video, videos are pretty long, but, um, and I want to have to like kind of get more directly to the point of everything. So this is just a test to kind of check it out, see if this works in this direction. So instead of actually going through each song, I'm going to more highlight the aura of the album and talk more of the background of the albums like that and how far they came from the last album to now and stuff like that. So, um, Montana is going to be the guinea pig of this. So let's get started. So. I love, love this album. I really love it. It's, it's fully rounded. It's perfect. It's, her, her songwriting is amazing. There's just, and a lot of, and I've kind of, and I watched one of the things that she had on YouTube when she kind of went down in each song and talked about how they, different songs are different, um, different, like, they have different meanings between them, and some of them actually she kind of just wrote really fast and, with more of what came to her mind. And so, and at first, like, you think, like, oh, she wrote this, like, when people say, like, oh, they wrote that song really fast, they didn't really think about the song. Like, I think there's some, some people, including her, that can just, for some reason, just has the talent to just songwrite, you know? Even if it comes out of their minds, it just, just it just, just comes out and immediately ends a fucking hit. Like, completely. Like, for example, um, Losing My Mind was one of them. She mentioned that she was just kind of, like mind blocked in writing this song and she's kind of overwhelms herself when it comes to adding more tasks to herself. Um, so she pretty much wrote a song about it. It was perfect. It completely like nailed down everything that she was talking about. Um, a lot of the song, like good, like that one. And also, um, like di the dying song is also another one is, uh, she said that she kind of wrote, but like, a. Due, but she wrote it due to the basis of a um, idea of, based off pretty much Link is what she's pretty much said. She's like, if you, when you get a lot of lives in a game, when you play a game, you have you have like a lot, like a certain amount of lives, which is in reality when you, you don't, you know, you die once, you know. And on top of that, they kind of, and a lot of the games kind of leave it up to this one person to save the whole world, to save the day. And so she kind of does it in a more sarcastic kind of, like, tongue-in-cheek, like, what if it wasn't, like, what if I do die? Like, I guess it doesn't really matter, because then it's like, guess you guys have to deal with the world going to the end because I'm, I'm dead, but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm already dead, you know? So I thought, I love that ex explanation of the song, and it kind of makes you kind of realize, like, not all songs have to have a deep, deep understanding. It's just, I love the curiosity of what she thinks about what, when she writes these songs and a lot of us and then some of the songs are pretty much about like her past relationships and then like empowering songs like for example ready is a oh my god um, ready is a great song it's pretty much talking about how she's like there's a lot of there's a lot of um systemic like factors that goes on into why certain people including women is what i think that's more of a more more direct like base that she was using, but I think she all she mon she mentioned that she's talking about. She also was talking about it could fit in different other minority places, and that how you can't to get to where you need to be. It's a little rough. It's it's way more challenging than a normal person. Um, so I really really love that song, and her vocals are ama amazing, just amazing. I came into her around. I came into her when she did um, for your love. I watched, I just came across the music video and I watched it and I thought it was super cool. I thought it was very beautiful and the song was very deep, like it definitely hit home for me. Um, and so when I got into this album, and I know that she had an album before, which was a huge one that went gold called The Glorious Heights and apparently it was also number one played, most played in, in the uh, Triple J. On top of that, she won an ARIA award for the best breakthrough artist and in this type of album she kind of mixed in. She, she got with some of her people from before and also added more people. So example, like David uh, Seek, or I'm just damaged this so bad. Seek, Seek Tech, Seek Tech, who's also somebody that helped out with the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. And uh, Mario Spetti, who also worked with uh, TK um, Mazza and All Day. 
which is I love all day and I love TK. So it it definitely you can hear that and a lot of her personal stuff she talks about is so it's so amazing. Like Volcano is a very beautiful song, pretty much saying like um, some disaster. Hope some disaster happens so we don't have to end this relationship because he she pretty much ending it by going somewhere else. Um, and so, if there's a volcano, then she has no choice but to stay. But I think that's kind of a little problematic due to the fact that you have to, like, that's probably going to destroy the pl the place that you're trying to be together at. And I love Change. What a great way to start off the album. Like, pretty much my best, the fa my favorites have to be Change, For Your Love, Stockholm Syndrome, and Ready. Stockholm Syndrome is very fun. And I, they're just, they're very catchy. They have, a, she's great at keeping the... Chorus, the chorus, very catchy. Like the, like an, um, the volcano, um, love might be found. Like the, da 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 da. Like it's just the bouncing of the how it does that is really great, and I, and I love change. It's just uh, it's amazing. I love that she kind of get this like weird Bollywood type of like sand like notes to it, like a like a. Pretty much like as as a santar is into it, and then there's a t uh, a tabla inside. Like most of like a lot of the songs have a lot of top. Most of the songs have some type of, like tabla in it in different places. Definitely and change in the very end. I really like. So yeah, I've I've adore this album. I'm definitely gonna get into the glorious heights because I know that it's got a lot of praise, and I haven't. And I pretty much just got into her sophomore album and said her first one. So I'm definitely gonna get into that one. Um. So yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, leave a comment below to me what you thought about the song, the album. If you really liked it, if you didn't like it, most likely I know you'll probably like it because it's really really good. I recommend it if you haven't listened to it. It's just her vocals, her lyrics, her sound. It's just it's completely, it's completely refreshing. It's no one has. I don't think I, I can actually safely say that I don't see this happening a lot of other people like sound so it's very new to me and I love it so yeah so I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you guys in the next video